New to Logo 6, the Label Entry tool lets you grab a section of text and attach a smart label to it that consists of a name and a set of attributes. Applying a name to a label tells you what it is, and the attributes tell you what characteristics describe it. So, for example, imagine you've just heard that individual laws in the Book of Deuteronomy are simply a more detailed expression of one of the Ten Commandments. For instance, in Deuteronomy 22.8, we find a command that states, When you build a new house, you shall make a parapet for your roof, that you may not bring the guilt of blood upon your house if anyone should fall from it. As you might have guessed, this command is an application of the Sixth Commandment, You shall not murder. With the new label entry tool, we can mark this text in lots of ways. One way would be to label this verse as a statute, which tells me what it is, then add a set of attributes that describe its characteristics, like what type of law it is, apodeptic or casuistic, and another attribute that tells me which one of the Ten Commandments this is expressing. So let's focus on creating the label palette, then I'll jump forward and show you how to search your labels for precise information. First, I want to open up the Tools menu and select Highlighting. Now previously I created a new highlighting palette and called it Labels. You can create your own custom palette by clicking New Palette at the top and giving the palette the name you desire. Now scroll down and hover over the section called Labels until the drop-down arrow appears. Click the arrow and from the options that appear, select Add a New Style. For this example, I want to call this label Statute because we're marking law text. For now, I want us to scroll past the formatting options because you can explore these choices later and move down to the section called Insert Text. Here we want to tell Logos where to insert the label we're creating. I personally prefer to create a capsule label and then set it to appear before the text I'm highlighting. And finally, I want to enter the label title Statute, which will appear inside the label marker. Next, I want to expand the last section called Labeling. Then click the first checkbox, which turns the label function on. Then check the second box, which prompts me for attributes. So now, whenever I apply this highlighter style, it pops up a little form for me to fill in. Now, I want to add a set of attributes to this label that describes its characteristics. So first, we want to identify which one of the Ten Commandments this law is associated with. So I'll add the first attribute and name it Decalogue, which is another name for the Ten Commandments. Then I'll input the value as a number. This will represent one of the Ten Commandments. Then I want to add a second attribute that identifies what type of law I'm looking at. Start by naming this attribute Type. Then input its value as a list and its default value as apodictic, casuistic, or cultic, which are the three major law types in the Torah. Once you're done, click Save at the top right. Now, one final step. Let's hover over the new label and choose to add a shortcut key. This will allow us to move at a faster pace. I'm going to choose S for Statute. Now that we've built our label, we're ready to mark up the text. So starting in Deuteronomy 22.8, I want to highlight the text, then press S on my keyboard, and in the pop-up window, enter the commandment number associated with this law. Then input the law type as casuistic, because this is an application of a general principle. And then click Done. Now, when I hover my mouse over the label for this text, I can see that this law is associated with the Sixth Commandment, and it's a casuistic law. Previously, I went through this chapter in Deuteronomy with a label called Statutes, with an S, marking up laws according to type and the associated law from the Ten Commandments. Now I can open up a new search panel and search for a specific label. To do this, set your parameters to match what you see on my screen. I'm running a Bible search of all statute labels in Deuteronomy in the ESV. To search your labels, select the All Bible Text drop-down menu and select your label from the list of options. Next, I want to enter my search query. I want this search to locate all of the casuistic laws in this chapter. To do this, input the search type label STATUTES, followed by the operator WHERE in all capital letters, then the attribute TYPE, followed by an equal sign, then a space, then the label type CASUISTIC in quotation marks, then enclose the entire search query with curly brackets. When I press ENTER, Logos generates a list of all the casuistic laws in Deuteronomy 22. To go one step further, I can search within all the casuistic laws in this chapter and find all the laws associated with the Seventh Commandment. To do this, I'm going to add the operator AND, then the attribute Decalogue, followed by an equal sign, and the number 7, then press ENTER. 
And just like that, Logos lists all the laws that are casuistic and associated with the seventh commandment. Now, let's take things one step deeper and change the commandment to the number 10. Then add the sense type to the beginning of our search, followed by the word virgin. Now we're set to run a search that's going to find all of my labels associated with the 10th commandment and that mention the biblical sense of virgin. And in seconds, Logo shows me that there are two verses that fit my search query, verse 23 and verse 28. The new label entry tool makes searching smarter than ever, letting you search labels by type, attribute, or term. Start using this tool today. Get Logo 6.